today there was some pretty big news from Tesla. Also, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, 2020 has been difficult on everybody. I actually decided to spend more of my time not worrying about getting um, videos out every week. And then that kind of slowed it down to getting videos out every other week to every three weeks. And this last video has been like a month and a half since I got a video out. Um, long story um, short on that is the fact that I still love my car and still drive my Tesla and I'm still on Twitter and things like that um, which you can see on my homepage anyways um, I just haven't felt like making videos I do have some videos that I've kind of made up I just haven't finished them to, to I haven't finished producing them to actually put them out on YouTube those will be coming it's been a year since I've had my car now so big news came out today from Tesla almost exactly a year after I picked up my car, uh, my Model 3. And so what I want to show is um, we're going to go through the changes with the Model 3 today that anybody looking to get a Tesla, specifically the Model 3, um, can now get a much better deal than when I got it one year ago. But it does not change my thinking of them at all. So. What we're gonna do here is, um, this is the new Model 3. You can still order it online the same way that I ordered mine, although now it is touchless delivery. I didn't have to do that whenever I um, was doing it and I actually got to do test drive with a person and talk to them and all that good stuff like we really miss these days but would not like to do. So we're gonna go to custom order, okay? So right off the bat, um, you can see the standard range price. Let's go to actual purchase price. $37,000. Um, that's cheaper, a little bit cheaper than it was whenever I bought mine. But I got the long range. So we're going to compare that. $46,999 for basically the same car that I got. This is the Model 3. And one of the big differences that you can see right out of the pictures and I'll show an image here of um, mine. The arrow wheels are more of a flat look, and um, that's 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 pretty nice actually. Um, the fact that it is a, a flat look. Let's actually look at mine real quick, and um, let's just just look at this video. I mean, this picture here. So. Um, we're gonna just so whenever my internet starts working so what you can see here the arrow wheels are more rounded oh, they're much more flatter I, I at first I didn't know if I liked that but I actually like this better they're also a little more sil silver so I actually like this design a little better I don't know what the rims look like underneath so when you pop it off because the rims underneath the regular Model 3, today, the previous version, I guess, um, had a very nice look. Also, one other thing that they changed, no more chrome around the windows and on the door handles and on the Tesla badge over here on the mirror. No more chrome. As you can see here, you can see the chrome in the pic, I mean, in, in my old video. No, it's not a very good thing. Um, so... A lot of people were getting aftermarket kits to do this themselves with vinyl. I haven't done that because I've used vinyl on a vehicle back when I was in high school and it tends to fade from sunlight. And it doesn't look very good and it leaves a really bad residue and it's really pain in the butt to get off with alcohol and stuff like that. But it will keep the chrome protected and it won't hurt the chrome. I like the black look better. I do think the chrome is more than likely going to hold up better long term because chrome just is, is very sturdy. So I do kind of like the chrome in that manner, the durability phase from it, but this looks just so much better. So that's one thing. The speed's the same. Everything here's the same. The biggest change that you see from this page, other than you know the, the, that, maybe the, the, the chrome delete, which a lot of people wouldn't even notice the difference there, 353 miles of range. That is just absolutely amazing to me. Um, I 
I love that. Okay. So yeah, the range is amazing. So my car, when I bought it, it was estimated at 310 miles of range. That was last October. I ordered it last September. At the end of last September. 310 miles of range. They shortly after I bought my car extended it to, I think it was 320 miles of range for the long range motor. Uh, there was supposed to be a software update that increased my car's range, I think. I never saw that. My actually range after 2,000 miles went down to about 300 miles. I've had a lot of battery degra degradation. Um, so the 353 miles to me looks very appetizing just to try to trade my car in. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'm currently getting an estimated 300 and, or sorry, I'm getting an estimated 280 miles of range right now with my battery degradation. And it's still pretty hot outside here in South Carolina. And so that's only going to get worse in the wintertime. So in the wintertime, I'm willing to bet I get somewhere around 250 miles of range. And so this new Model 3, that for one is about $2,000 cheaper than what I bought mine for, right? Gets an extra 100 miles of range. That is very tempting. A cheaper car, 100 additional miles. Now, granted, it's not 100 additional miles than when I bought the car, but it is 43 miles more than when I bought the car, right? That drives me um, back to where I used to live, in a home or something, right? Uh, that may, that's a lot. You know, that can make a big difference. So, if anything, it shortens the amount of time you do charge at supercharging stops. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, the next thing um, about this is all your colors. They have the black still. They they have this um, midnight silver metallic. I don't remember if they had that. But that is a very pretty car. Um, oh, and they still got the blue. And of course they got the red. And so if I was to buy one today, because it's $2,000 cheaper than when I bought it originally, um, I would most definitely get it in red. I still kind of regret not getting it in red, which I thought I would. I always do when I buy a car. If I don't get the red version, I tend to want the red version in the future. I do like my car in white though. Um, and you know, it, you can't really name it Rover One when it's red. It needs to be white to name it Rover One, right? And uh, so that's one thing. One of the big differences, again, is the 19-inch uh, sports rims. So I say big difference. They're really not that big of a difference. But it, it is different than what they were. I really like the previous versions better than this. But these may be getting a little extra um, efficiency. So some of this extra range may may be from the two different rim sets. For example, they may have managed to get another, say, five miles of range, ten miles of range. Doubt that, but that's pretty nice. All right. So for the interior, some other differences here. So this is all new. They have the wireless charging, which they added later on in the Model Three. That's like mine. The way it was set up, though, here you had a door that covered your charging area. I actually had to buy an aftermarket wireless charger to have wireless charging. It didn't come with that. It came with cables that would plug in from the bottom here. Your phones would set side by side and plug in. I bought a Jetta wireless charger and um, it's very nice. It makes it easy to set your phone on it wirelessly charges. Later on, Tesla started putting those in the Model 3 earlier this year and now they've gone with a new uh, wireless design that does not have a little cover that closes over it. It's always sitting out because most people leave that door open anyways all the time. This door slides forward to get down into the compartment here. I don't personally like that. This design here reminds me of a 1990s uh, Infinity or maybe a Dodge or something like a 2000s Dodge, um, a Chrysler. You know, I'm not a fan of this. Um, I I can't tell if I like the leather around this. I definitely like the fact that the piano black is gone because as you can go back and look at some of my old videos, I actually have a, a cover over mine, a matte black cover. So that's nice. Looks like everything else is about the same, the cup holders, the center console. But we'll find out when people start actually getting into these new cars 
how the inside of that looks. And of course you still get the autopilot included with it. You can do full self-driving now for 8,000. It was $6,000 whenever I bought mine. I chose to not get that. Back to the home page, and we'll go to the Model 3. Um, so some more information here. Safety is, it actually has been improved since I, mine was purchased. Uh, they did some stuff with the front end. Um, everything else is mostly the same, except for that 353 miles is a big deal. Um, but I will say, it's a big deal. But my car, even with the rated range of 280 miles because of the degradation over the last 20,000 miles, um, which a lot of people don't see any. There's a lot of people that have 20,000 miles on their cars and they still have 310 miles of range. So um, don't let that stop you from buying one. I will tell you um, that you know it's under warranty for eight years or 120,000 miles. And so if my battery gets below 70% of its initial value, I think that's right, 70% of what it was, which um, the rate I'm going, I think it's going to happen, um, it's going to be covered in war under warranty. So um, unless something just, it just stops. And I will say that 280 miles of range is absolutely plenty. I did a trip up to uh, northern Indiana from South Carolina, middle of South Carolina, and uh, 13, hour, 13 and a half hours, and it was easy peasy I, I loved it so much better than going in a regular car so um, it's still still a great way to do this I do want to show you one other thing because you can see from that picture there you have the performance so $54.99 um, after taxes you're gonna you know be somewhere around probably $58,000 you have the uber turbines that come with this these are uh, 21 inch rims they are I personally like the old ones better these were coming on the new Model Y performances, and a lot of people tend to like them a lot. I personally don't, but they do look really good on this this red car with the, with the blacked out, you know, the chrome delete. It, it looks good, I have to say. Uh, another thing, every single one of the cars, these are new things. Well, they they all come with the power trunk. So a lot of people got aftermarket power trunks. I don't know if this power trunk will open it and then also then close it back or not the way people have done the power trunks not necessarily I guess not the power trunks they put springs and so they would just push it up they I think there is a kit that you can order where it will actually manually open it or automatically open it and automatically close it back now that would be nice and if that's what that is that is nice actually because then you could uh, you could open it up for somebody um, or if you got, if you accidentally open it up, you could actually close it back with the punch of your button on your cell phone. So that that could be very nice, actually. Um, glass roof. They've always had the glass roof. I think they said though that now they are double paned glass on the roof. Maybe I don't know if the windshield and back glass, but definitely the back glass and the roof. I believe is double paned, and what that is, that's going to help a couple of things. It's going to help stopping some of the UV heat or the heat from the UV rays also is supposed to dampening uh, dampen noise a lot better so people have complained about the fact that well people can hear them from outside their car while they're on the phone in their car you know through the speakers so uh, it's supposed to help with that as well um, and then of course they still come with the autopilot they still come with one year of premium connectivity which they did a couple of things they said that um, one other thing that they said that they changed here is they put the heat pump in from that was being used in the Model Y. I think that is also helping with range because it's more efficient. Um, I wonder if some of the the new rims are making it more efficient driving down the highways. That's my take on all these. Go out there and get yourself a great electric vehicle. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.